Hello and welcome to this week's extra RNN Diecast review right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On today's Diecast review, or today's extra Diecast review, the normal Diecast review already went up. About an hour ago, if you haven't seen that, it was the 2018 Timothy Peters Talladega race win that just got that just came out. Now we're looking back a few years um, at the 2014 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Daytona 500 race win, his second Daytona 500 win. Um, this is another one like the extra one we did last week. Uh, this is another one that uh, sold on eBay a couple days ago, and I wanted to make sure I got a review done of this before it uh, left because this is definitely a cool car, and I think, if nothing else, needs to be uh, documented in a die-cast review. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box. Commemorative box, uh, not your standard raced win box for 2014. Picture of Junior there holding up the Harley J. Earl Trophy in Victory Lane, Daytona 500 champion, 56th annual, 2004, 2014, two times, Lionel Racing, raced version, winner sticker, on this side, Junior in the car with the checkered flag. Picture in victory lane, Hendrick Motorsports, Dale Jr. 88. Production sticker on this side. They made 15,888 of these in the ARC Platinum Series. So a lot of these floating around out there, although they have sort of seemed to become pretty rare because I haven't seen too many floating around on eBay. Junior and uh, Steve Latart there in victory lane, a very young-looking Steve Latart, uh, mind you. And then again in the background, picture from Victory Lane. Nothing really of note on this side or on the bottom of the box. All right, so what comes in the box? Of course, a winter sticker, a bag of red, white, and blue confetti, and then the race detail card. Dale Earnhardt Jr., 56th annual Daytona 500 champion, 20th career cup series victory. And on the back, Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins the Daytona 500. I see Lionel hasn't gotten any more creative in the past five years with their titles. Still as generic back then as they are now. You can pause to read that if you want to. All right, so on to the car. And this definitely, uh, I mean, there's not a lot of raced up marks with this by any means. But um, just for the, the history of this and... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of confetti on it, if nothing else, so you can definitely tell it's a raced version. Under the hood, Chevy, National Guard, and Diet Mountain Dew. Take a look at the ARC engine detail. Actually, pretty much the same as what we get in a current Elite, which is kind of sad. On the nose, Chevy SS, a little bit of tape and buildup and such here on the nose. A little bit of confetti as well. Hendrick Motorsports, number 88. On the hood, lots more confetti. National Guard, nationalguard.com. Earnhardt Jr. across the top of the windshield. Chevy logos and some more confetti. 88 on the roof. Roof flaps do function. National Guard on the back of the roof. DIN number 15,763. National Guard on the deck lid. Take a look at the fuel cell detail in there. And down the driver's side, contingency sponsors, more confetti down this side, a little bit of, definitely some, some markings here from the team on the tire, if nothing else. 88, cloth window net, Dale Earnhardt Jr. on the name rail and one winner sticker. Sponsors down the B post, Diet Mountain Dew, National Guard, Kelly Blue Book on the quarter panel. On the back bumper, Chevy SS, National Guard, Valvoline, and the number 88. And down the passenger side, a lot cleaner look at Junior's 2014 National Guard scheme as this is the side that really didn't get hit by the confetti. So you kind of, you get the race version on one side and then the clean version on the other more or less. But uh, good looking scheme nonetheless. I think one of, uh, probably one of Junior's better schemes of his career. Now, I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not trying to get that debate started down in the comments. But uh, I think it's definitely... I think we can all agree it's one of Junior's best schemes. If if we can't agree that it's the best scheme, and that's not what I'm saying, um, I think we can all agree that it's it's one of his best schemes in his career. But 
cool looking car there. Just wanted to uh, to let it out of the collection, but uh, like I said last week, definitely not the last cool thing I have in my collection. Um, something that I wasn't super sentimentally attached to, as I never really was a junior fan. I, it's not that I didn't like junior, I just never was a junior fan. Um, so not super attached to it. I figured it'd probably be better off in, in somebody else's hands that maybe is a junior fan. Um, so I figured I'd get rid of that and uh, help the financial situation a little bit. But uh, that'll about do it for this one. Um, as we talked about earlier, Martinsville coming up this weekend for the Cup and Truck Boys and Girls. And then uh, Canaan West in action for their penultimate race from Kern County Raceway Park out there in Bakersfield, California. So we'll have lots of uh, rewind shows and coverage coming up for you this weekend, both here and on Twitter. So keep an eye out for that this weekend. So if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from r &N. While you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do. But at that, this has been the extra r and Diecast review of the week. As always, I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.